Oshkosh Defense has now built 10,000 of its joint light tactical vehicles for the U.S. Army, Marine Corps, and a growing sphere of international partners, hitting a milestone which may only be but a beginning to a decades-long developmental, production, and delivery trajectory. The vehicle, originally envisioned as a hybrid combination between a high-speed, mobile, off-road vehicle and a heavily protected IED-stopping armored platform, has evolved into a complex, yet balanced mixture of the two. It is now used by as many as seven U.S. allied countries, to include the U.K., Belgium, Montenegro, Slovenia, Lithuania, Brazil, and North Macedonia. More than 6,000 have already been fielded. The JLTV represents the next generation of automotive technology in a number of key respects, such as the ability to design a light tactical, mobile vehicle with substantial protective ability to defend against IEDs, roadside bombs and other threats. Senior Army developers have explained the technical and conceptual balance sought after by JLTV engineers who envisioned a highly versatile, mobile vehicle able to survive an entirely new threshold of threats when compared with previous tactical vehicles. The JLTV was built to fight with a level of underbody protection equivalent to the original MRAP, ATV, or, mine-resistant, ambush-protected, all-terrain vehicle, vehicle standards. Also, the vehicle is designed with modular armor, so that when the armor is not needed, the extra armor can come off and bring the weight of the vehicle down. When compared with earlier light tactical vehicle models such as the Humvee, the JLTV is engineered with a much stronger, 250 to 360 horsepower engine and a 570 amp alternator able to generate up to 10 kilowatts of exportable power. Army developers explain that the JLTV is designed with enough onboard power to support the Army's future network and be able to take advantage of the latest generation of diesel engine technology to maximize fuel economy. The vehicle is built with a system called TAK-4I independent suspension designed to increase off-road mobility in rigorous terrain, a scenario quite likely should there be a major war. The JLTV is equipped with next-generation sensors and communications technologies to better enhance soldiers' knowledge of a surrounding, fast-moving dynamic combat situation. With the JLTV architecture, the vehicle will be able to streamline and more easily exchange and transmit information while ensuring that the maximum number of programs and applications are possible on any given computer or display screen. All of the JLTVs will be configured with what is called variable ride height suspension, described as the ability to raise and lower the suspension to meet certain mission requirements such as the need to raise the suspension in high threat areas and lower the suspension so that the vehicles can be transported by maritime preposition force ships. The JLTV is also reported to be air sea and land transportable, able to transport on amphibious assault ships, fixed-wing aircraft such as AC-130, C-17, and C-5 as well as CH-47 and CH-53 helicopters. The in-vehicle network approach is grounded in, open architecture, meaning that information technology systems and electronics will all be built to commercial technical standards ensuring maximum interoperability. JLTV is aligning with specific Army technical standards, which will enable a single computer or system to run a host of interoperable applications and functions. The JLTV, which can be armed with weapons such as a grenade launcher or 50 cal machine gun, has a central tire inflation system which is an on-the-fly system that can regulate tire pressure. The system can adjust tire pressure from higher pressures for higher speed conditions on flatter roads to much lower pressures in soft soil such as sand or mud, Army JLTV engineers have explained. This new massively capable combat vehicle replacing the U.S. military's iconic Humvees to provide troops with even more advanced protection and off-road mobility. With the escalation in roadside bombs and mines throughout Iraq and Afghanistan, Humvees were ramped up with Armor and Mine Resistant Ambush Protected Vehicle or MRAPS, made by Oshkosh with their heavy armor were introduced. Troops must regularly contend with IEDs downrange and this threat will continue to be a problem. The solution? The JLTV, it has as much armor as a light tank, but still gives troops speed and agility. 
It will provide Marines and soldiers with better protection against this threat with improved payload and performance, and without the size of the MRAP. Its enhanced speed means troops could travel more than 70% faster over rugged terrain than other standard vehicles like the MATV. The JLTV features shot detection, long-range surveillance, silent watch power systems as well as both visible light and IR cameras. Equipped with state-of-the-art tech, it also provides soldiers and marines with electronic warfare devices and on-the-move battlefield situational awareness tech. So what about the firepower? It has two launched missiles, remote weapon systems, as well as hands-on turret-operated ones. Troop protection is paramount and the JLTV leverages the company's advances in crew protection called Oshkosh Core 1080. There are two variants, a two-seater and a four-seater variant plus a companion trailer. The two-seat variant has one utility-based vehicle platform. There are two options in the four-seater the general purpose or JLTVGP and the close combat weapons carrier or JLTVCCWC. Contact, contact, contact! 